Hi there. So according to a uh, latest article is that Uganda troops have joined the East African Regional Force in Congo and they've sent in about a thousand and according to the article the article goes that Ugandan troops operating as part of the East African Regional Military Force have entered the East Congo border town of Bunagana on Friday today and that is according to an army officer and a witness so the witness or people of that town say that they've seen a good number of Ugandan troops with the tanks, armored personnel carriers, you know, the APCs, and, you know, army trucks, right, walking or driving from Uganda to that town or the border town of Bunagana and entering Congo. And there are 1,000, according to the official report by the Ugandan uh, basically pers- uh, spokesperson, I mean spokesperson, and they are coming to secure that territory that was held by the M23 since uh, June last year. Because when M23 started this incursion, they started by capturing that town of Bunagana. It's right at the border of Congo and Uganda. And something else you need to know is that back in 2012, when M23 was fighting and they had captured the city of Goma, there were a force of about 10,000. Some people say 9,000, 9,500. Of course, we know more than 60% of that force was made up of Rwandan soldiers and others were Ugandan soldiers. So when they were told by the international community and the Sadiq soldiers, that is South African soldiers, they left Congo. 6,000 went to Rwanda. They walked right at the border of Rwanda and entered Rwanda. They were not arrested. And the same report says that 4,000 of them went to Uganda. They were not arrested. They just walked across the border in Bunagana at the time and went to Uganda. No one knows where they went, but my guess is that maybe they went to serve in the Ugandan army. So they've been serving in the Ugandan army until last year in June when they decided they need to go back to Congo and do whatever they are doing. And the town they started capturing was Bunagana. You understand? They started capturing the town of Bunagana and the others joined them from Rwanda. They came, joined them, then they captured the military camp of Rumangabo, which is not far from, you know, Rwanda. And that's how they started. So it's funny to see that they, 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 the Ugandans who know very well where the M23 came from when they started, you know, capturing the town or the border post of Bunagana, this one here, uh, are pretending now that they are coming to liberate that same border post, even though they facilitated the M23 to capture it. And, you know, it has been hurting the Ugandan economy because Uganda exports a lot of agricultural and manufactured products to Congo, and all those goods go through this border post. And with them to enter it there and the Congolese soldiers trying to take it, there's no way uh, commercial goods were going through. So it's also a move by Uganda to try to return that region back to commercial purpose, right? But basically, I want you to tell me in the comment section below, do you think it's funny that Uganda is coming here to pretend that They are fighting M23 when we know very well about 4,000 M23 soldiers not long ago came from Uganda. They just came from Uganda and entered Congo. That's what happened. Of course, unless someone has new information to prove us otherwise. But that's what I, I, I believe and that's what I've read in several reports.